Hey, what is going on guys? I'm David from Tech Android and today let's take a look at Android 7.1 Nougat based Slim 7 ROM for the Levico LE2. So if you don't know about Slim ROMs, um, they are actually as popular as Cyanogen based custom ROMs, but they kind of lost popularity in the middle, uh, maybe due to some development issues. But I don't, uh, but this Slim 7 ROM which we are actually gonna see, I don't know if it actually comes from the original Slim based ROM series. But the whole idea of, of Slim based ROMs is that uh, to make the custom ROM experience much more lighter than stock Android experience. I mean the whole thing behind Slim based ROMs is making ROMs which are slim that is light as light as possible uh, well keeping all that away in, in order to install this ROM you need to have a customer query installed on your device and I will leave a link to the latest TWRP query and a tutorial video of mine on how to unlock bootloader and install custom recovery on any low eco device so you can actually follow that to unlock bootloader on your low 2 if you haven't already and once you have done that you need to download two zip files the rom zip file and the google apps zip file and i'll leave a link to both the zip files in the description below so make sure that you download them and place them on your internal storage so once you've done that power off your device by holding the power button and now reboot into your query mode by either holding the volume up button and the power button together at the same time or uh, if you are already using any custom ROM you could just use the advanced reboot option to reboot into recovery mode so once in recovery mode you need to first select wipe and swipe to wipe now select install and now select the ROM file and select swipe to flash And now select the Google Apps file and swipe to flash. And now select reboot system. So remember that the first boot into your new ROM is going to take a lot of time so just sit back and relax and don't panic. So now I have successfully booted into the ROM, I'll set up the ROM completely and I'll be back. So now I've been using this ROM for a couple of hours and in terms of bugs, the, both the camera and IR blaster bug is present in this ROM as well. And in addition to that, um, the developer settings is not working, so that's one more additional bug. But apart from that, everything is stable and this um, in terms of features, we don't have much. Well, that's the whole idea about this ROM, right? Um, in terms of features, you get Slim Reasons, which is actually uh, KitKat style reason tabs. You can actually switch back between the Slim Reasons and the usual card style reasons. and apart from that you can begin with the status bar some status bar settings and 
some navigation bar settings as well and that's it we don't have anything any other crazy features because this is a slim based rom and that's the whole idea of this rom to be as light as possible well um uh if you want my opinion i actually find this rom really compelling for me because i actually like roms which are closer to stock android and which are lighter and this actually perfectly fits my resume for a perfect custom rom for me so that's just my opinion what do you think about the custom rom install it and leave your thoughts in the comment section below i'll see you guys in the next one see ya